just got off the train in Burnage, straight onto Fog Lane, and the very first place you see is Chef Platters, which is handy, because this is what's been recommended to us this week by Steve. Hi, Steve. He tells us to come down because they do amazing Indian street food. They do great Indo-Chinese. He also tells us that although it's just been open a little while, it's already getting people excited. Oh, and he tells me that I should definitely try the lamb biryani. Steve, you have my word. Sashi. Namaste. Namaste. How Welcome are you? to Chef Platters. Thank you for having us. And I feel quite honoured because you've not been open long, have you, I'm told? No, we have only been open for the last six months, which was yesterday. Oh, wow. The best curry chef in Manchester. Oh, so we're saying that this is where you can get the best, best. curry in the whole of 100%. Manchester. 100%. Well, look, oh, there's all the chefs look, they're watching, they're ready. <laughs> hello, boys, hello. Uh, what well, should we go through? Meet Absolutely. Chef, Absolutely. So we have Chef Akbar today, who's the owner and the head chef of Hi Chef Platters. Hi Chef. He started his journey from Mumbai. 13 years he's been in Manchester, open couple of restaurants. When I get an odd request for him, which is not on the menu, he does get... <laughs> because he's very proud of what he serves yeah. and he's very passionate about his cooking. As you saw in the kitchen, we had the nanwich. It's an explosion of flavours in your mouth and I would recommend you to try that. You're going to love it. Oh my it's God. superb. We almost needed a bigger table. <laughs> we got a lot of food. Yes. Hey, where are we going first then? Why don't we start with Pani Puri first? Pani Puri is basically kind of a canopy, more or less. This is uh, served on the streets of Mumbai. It's a, it's like a shell. Uh, potatoes, chickpeas, onions, savouries, yogurt, mint, spices, black salt. You have a water that is made out of herbs like coriander, mint. Oh, I could drink a pint of that. So, so how much? So yeah, just pour just, it, just fill it right to the top. Right to the top. Right to the top and straight in. Yes. Culinary blast in your mouth. Full it's of flavors. Culinary blast in my mouth. It's one of the best blasts in the mouth I've ever had. Absolutely. Where next? Oh, I know oh where we next. can go to the vada pav. Your most favorite. It is my most favorite. So tell me about the vada pav. Uh, made out of potatoes. Uh, it has ginger, garlic, green chilies tamarind sauce, green chutney, and served in between a bread. It's a more staple food for the lower middle class people back home, the yep. tuk-tuk drivers. For the working class. Working class people. You have one or two of this and a cup of tea, it's done. They're surprisingly filling as well. Yes, though, absolutely. They? They're very pocket friendly and they're quite filling. Pocket friendly is a lovely way of saying cheap. Yes. <laughs> and what about the bread? Yeah, so the bread is uh, something special that we do in-house kind of pow. It's between a brioche and the actual bap. The flavour of the bread is slightly different. So. Yeah, but it's delicious. Yeah. And you make that in-house as yes, well? Yes, we do that in-house as well, yes. Because that's very important to you, isn't it? The ingredients. Yes. So something like 95% of everything you do is all homemade. All homemade. The Not only things we buy from outside is, is our... Uh, ice creams and kulfis, we buy it from outside. Yep. Apart from that, we That's don't it, buy make everything, else. everything in house. I have one more thing that I would like you to taste is All the right. pav bhaji. It's kind of a spicy mix wedge, and you have nice buttery uh, pav again. Squeeze a bit of lime on it. Nice amount of. How uh, much? I'll, I'll just do enough off. for yeah, one yeah, bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of a few drops of lime on it. That'll be yeah. someone trying to book in for a vada pav, and it's fantastic. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, I've never had anything quite like that. Yes. It's familiar flavours. Yes. But <clears throat> that's sensational. It's, it's very, very good. The most important man in the <laughs> place. Worth pointing out as well, I didn't realise that this is uh, Chef Akbar's yes. son. Yeah. What's your name, sorry? Pleased to meet you with PG. So it's, it's a family run place yes. as well, yes. isn't it? Yes. Family's it is, very important yes. to this yes. place. Where are we going? Well, so we can go now to the. Andhra lamb pepper fry. This is one of your favourites, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. You, you're a big fan of this. Absolutely. It comes from the south of India. Nice curry leaves, strong flavours of crushed black pepper. So much flavour. Absolutely. And chef's out here now watching me, so I better make sure that I'm, I'm very complimented. Chef, this is great. Honestly, it's, it's really very, very good. You used to train the hospitality industry, didn't you, in, in terms of how to get good yes. service? Yes. What's mm -hmm. the top two pieces of advice you'd give to people to make a good waiter, to make good yeah. hospitality? I would say the most important thing, first thing, is the smile. Yeah. Yeah. 
and second thing is your knowledge about your dishes okay uh, the dishes you serve you should have a complete knowledge of it because the customer wants to come out and try different dishes so they they begin to trust absolutely, you absolutely absolutely uh, well i trust you well, thank you i trust you Is this the biryani? Absolutely. So this the, is what I was told that I had to mm -hmm. try by Absolutely. Steve. It's actually a naan bread dough. So. Oh, the big reveal. I mean, all the that. steam and all the flavour comes up. Talk me through this, then, Sash. Yeah. So the Hyderabadi lamb biryani, which we cook here, is quite authentic. Yep. And again, we use boneless pieces of lamb that are marinated with ginger and garlic. Again, it looks like it's going to be quite heavy because you've got all the rice, you've got the meat, you've got the... I was going to say pastry, but the mm -hmm. naan bread on mm -hmm. top feels like, oh, but yeah. wow. It's a lot of flavors. My mouth's Absolutely. dancing, yeah. So where I come from, as I told you earlier, my parents are from the south of India, Andhra. There's a city called as Hyderabad, well known for its biryanis. Yeah. All the Nawabs used to be there and Hyderabad is very popular for its biryanis. So we've got some platters here, yeah. Indo-Chinese. Yeah, absolutely. Which, which so we have an Indo-Chinese platter here where you get crispy chicken, crispy lamb and chicken lollipops on the Indo-Chinese platter. Yeah. So sufficient for two people if you're a good eater or even four if you want to have nibbles of everything. Yeah, yeah. Then you have a tandoori mix grill platter. This where, looks good. Yeah, and you have pieces of lamb chops, chicken wings, chicken tikka, malai tikka and sea kebab. Okay. So five different types of uh, meat pieces in there. And, and is that why you've got the name Chef Platter? Because... Yeah, yeah. so the Chef Platter names come basically... Chef, of course, he owns the place and Akbar has been in Manchester for so many years and his experience. So Chef, the word comes from there itself. And the platter is the portion sizes we serve. We believe in giving good value for money. Yeah. It is a hidden gem outside the city. If but you don't mind saying it so speak yourself. For, yeah, it speaks for itself. I have to try the lamb shank. Lamb shank. I yeah. love a lamb shank. Absolutely. Is this just going to fall off the bone? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm not even touching it and it's coming off. So the cooking technique, we keep it more of a traditional English style. Yeah. Again, we cook them, we marinate them, we brush them with a bit of mustard and then we marinate them with ginger, garlic and all the herbs and spices. Slow cook in the broth, finish it with the sauce before serving it onto the table. And uh, very, very good. Very popular dish. Yeah, and do you know what? I think that might be the favourite thing I've tried today. Good. And do you know what would go well with that? Yeah, a chilled beer. <laughs> <laughs> a chilled beer. Goes with everything, doesn't it? Absolutely. I would like you to taste one more dish of ours that we are going to launch very soon in October. Last one though, Last yeah? one, last one. So oh, is this oh, is thali. our thali. Yeah. A uh, lot of Indian traditions love thalis. If someone doesn't know what a thali is, yes. just explain for yeah, us. Yeah, so a thali is basically a mixture of a lot of things. So you, in front of you, you have a chicken thali. So you have a chicken tikka as a starter. You have butter chicken as your main dish. Yeah. You have a dal, you have a veg curry, you have a sweet, you have a raita, you have a salad, you have a bread, you have rice. You have everything in one plate. And this, we are going to start selling it at $12.99. Unlimited mains and sides. Unlimited? Unlimited mains and sides. Uh, the only two limited things will be the dessert and the starter. The rest all of the dishes will be unlimited. You just keep topping it up? Keep topping it up as long as you're sitting and eating. I love this place. I don't yeah. see you soon. You, I don't think you're going to get rid of me. <laughs> so I think I've found one of my new favourite foods, the nanwich. Get yourself down here, try a nanwich. In fact, just get yourself down here to Chef Platters. It's honestly incredible every single mouthful of food i had was unreal and you've got no excuse because it's bang next to bernie's train station now as always if you've got somewhere you want us to visit leave a little message below i'm happy today <laughs> <laughs>